want to talk a little bit about your health now. This is an alarming statistic. Women are twice as likely to get Alzheimer's as they are breast cancer. And we know what a problem breast cancer is. So joining us now to talk about this is Dr. Lori Boyajian. You're here to talk about ways to keep your brain sharp. And one of the things we were talking about a little bit before this was, do brain games like crosswords and things like that really help? Well, the research is still out, and what we do know is that when we're playing these games, our minds are engaged, and we learn more about spatial and language, and we develop those skills throughout our lifetime. You mentioned earlier playing games with your son. All the time. We do Scrabble, we do Quirkle, like a, a, a game to focus on spatial recognition, and, and it's real popular with kids. You probably have heard of it if you're a mom, but right. are those, do those help with the elderly and help people from getting Alzheimer's? There is no evidence whatsoever that these games help prevent Alzheimer's disease. But what we do know is that if a person with Alzheimer's, and, and actually anybody, even without Alzheimer's, stay socially engaged, that's really important. And it's particularly important for somebody who does have Alzheimer's. So if you're playing these games, and you're particularly playing these games with a loved one, with family members, socially with friends, that's really important. You also said that exercise can play a huge factor in decreasing your odds of, of starting to lose and, and lose focus when you get older? Well, Alzheimer's disease is a very complicated disease, but the evidence shows that regular exercise, even started later in life, is helpful. And what, we're, what the research is telling us now is that lifelong exercisers have decreased rates of, of certain types of dementia, and Alzheimer's is one of those. We just need more research on all of this, but as it always comes back, exercise is medicine. Sure, because it, is it because it creates a chemical release in your brain or in your body, endorphins, is that what helps you stay sharp? We don't know the correlation specifically sure. between exercise and mental health. There are there are hormones and other substances that the brain makes that helps us stay focused and sharper and just has a, a mood stabilizing effect and we know that those are produced more readily when somebody is exercising. We have some more information posted on KCTV5.com and Dr. Boyajian, you had some information you also wanted to share with our viewers. Well, I would always uh, contact the Alzheimer's Foundation for more information about Alzheimer's and other types of dementia. And we've posted links on our website for that. Dr. Lori, thank you for joining us today. Thank you.